Hi everybody, welcome to Yarn Scrap Friday. I thought I would do a little bit of a Halloween theme uh, video this week. And I'm gonna show you how to make this very simple uh, spider's web. This spider's web has been um, just quickly pinned to um, this old table, just so you can see the general shape. Um, but once you've um, finished completing uh, crocheting your spider's web, what you can do is pin it to an old piece of wood like this and actually just use um, PVA glue or like that sort of, you know, white children's glue um, that you get. Uh, let it go hard and it should keep its shape a lot better. Or you can just um, keep the ends longer and just tie it to... Um, I don't know, the corner of your room to make it look really Halloween-y and spooky. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make um, a little spider to go in the middle. But let's begin. Let's show you how to make this spider's web. OK, so to make this spider's web, we're going to be using some white yarn, but you can use any colour yarn that you like. I'm using a DK light worsted weight yarn, and I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E crochet hook to go with that and it's a good idea like I always say to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for sewing in those ends. Okay so the first thing to do is take your yarn and chain four. So we're going to chain four to begin. Chain four. Let's chain one, two, three, and four. Then what we want to do is you want to slip stitch into our first chain. So find your first chain, Just put your hook in there, bring the yarn through, then straight through the loop on your hook. And that's to form a loop um, that's connected at the beginning and the end of your four chains. And in the middle of there, you should be able to see a little hole that you've created. And you want to put your hook into that center hole and then we want to work eight single crochet. This is in US terminology. So put our hook in there, do a single crochet. We want eight of these. So we put our hook back into the center. And you're ignoring now how many chains you have. You just want to work the single crochets around the chains. So there's two single crochet. So we want eight. So it's two. Get back into the middle. Three back into the middle, four, five, six, seven. Back into the middle, you see the hole's quite big now. Eight, and you can pull your tail end, this little one here, a little bit just to bring that hole in if you want to. So, you should have eight single crochet now two, four, six, seven, eight. And what we want to do is we want to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So, you want to find your first single crochet that you made and put your hook into there under both little loops and do a slip stitch so straight through both loops so by the end of that round you should have eight single crochet okay so then moving on to round two what we want to do is to begin is we just want to chain two let's chain one and two and then we want to chain an extra chain as well. So you do another one, three. So at the beginning, you end up doing three chains. But the first two, you're going to count as a double crochet. And then that last chain is going to be the chains that are in between the double crochets, which will make sense in a minute. So chain three. Then wrap your yarn around your hook and go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. So go in there and do a double crochet. 
like so. It just should look a little something like that. Then we want to chain one. That's our chain one in between. Like I said, that last one there is going to be our chain one in between. Then yarn over, and in the next stitch, we do another double crochet. Let's go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. Okay. Then chain one again. Then go into the next stitch and do a double crochet. And just repeat that round until you get back to the beginning. Let's get a small yarn. Doing a chain one in between, yarn over into the next stitch and do a double crochet. Then chain one, then in the next stitch do a double crochet, then chain one, and in the next stitch do a double crochet, then chain one, then in the next stitch do a double crochet. And then I think we are back at the beginning because it always looks like there's another stitch there. But that's what I call a fake stitch. And just to check, we should have eight double crochets, including those first two chains. So those first two chains were counting as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know we're at the end. So that's not a stitch, that's a fake stitch trying to trick us. So just above just next to that is our chain two so one two and then, then chain three that last one is the one in between but before we slip stitch into the second chain up what we want to do is chain one again chain one so we keep remember to do that chain one in between and uh, then we need to find our second chain one and two out of the three and in that second one we just want to do a slip stitch to join the round So by the end of that round, it should look a little something like that. And moving on to the next round, what we want to do is we want to chain three to begin. One, two, three. And those first three chains are going to count as our stitch this time, those first three. And on top of that, we need to do another five chains. So one, two, three, four, Five. So in total you've got eight chains, but the first three are going to count as our stitch, then the next five are going to be the chains in between the stitches. So what we're going to do now is we need to wrap the yarn around our hook twice, wrap it around twice. Then what we want to do is we want to skip one, so skip that chain one in between. Then in the next stitch, which is at the top of our double crochet, we're going to put our hook in there and do a treble crochet. So we wrap it round twice, bring the yarn through. Now whenever you do a stitch bigger, a double crochet or bigger, you always yarn over and pull through the first two loops, then you yarn over, pull through the next two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two. You just pull through two until you end up with one loop on your hook, and that's a double crochet or higher. So it doesn't matter how many times you wrap this around your hook. You just pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two until you end up with just one loop left on your hook. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to chain five in between again. One, two, three, four, five. So there's our five chains in between. Wrap the yarn around your hook twice then we skip one, then in the next stitch, which is right above our previous double crochet, in the next stitch, put our hook, bring the yarn through. And you might want to just twist the stitches around so you can see them. You should have four loops. Yarn over, and like I said, you pull through two, pull through two. There's still two left, so I'll pull through those two as well, and now I've got one 
loop left. So we've finished. So just pull through two until you get to just one loop. Then we chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Then we wrap the yarn around our hook twice. One, two. Skip one in the next stitch. Bring the yarn through. And then we pull through two, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops until we end up with just the one loop. And that's the end of our stitch. So you want to repeat that all the way around back to the beginning. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Wrap the yarn around the hook twice. Skip one into the next stitch. Bring the yarn through. Then do our pull through two, pull through two, until we end up with just one loop. Okay, let's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Wrap the yarn around our hook twice. Skip one to the next stitch. Then we pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Now I've got one loop left. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Wrap the yarn around our hook twice. Skip one to the next stitch. Bring the yarn through. Then you'll push those stitches round so we can see them. Then we pull through two, pull through two loops. Still two left, so let's pull through those two as well, and now we've got our one loop left. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Wrap the yarn around your hook twice. Skip one into the next stitch, which is actually our last stitch. Bring the yarn through, and then we do our pull through twos again. So pull through two loops, pull through two loops through two loops. I've got one loop now. But before we slip stitch we need to make sure that we do our chain five. So you should still have one stitch left which is that chain one in between but we're going to skip that so we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we skip that chain one in between. Then we need to slip stitch into the third chain up which is the top of what we're counting as a stitch. So one, two, three, in that third one up, we're gonna do a slip stitch. To join the round. So by the end of that round, it should look a little something like that. Okay, so moving on to the next round, this time instead of chaining three to count as our stitch, we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. So those first five chains are now going to count as our stitch. Then on top of that, you need to chain nine on top of that. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So in total, you have chained nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's right, isn't it? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes, you've chained fourteen in total. But the first five chains are going to count as our stitch. Then the nine are going to be the chains in between. Now then, this time, what we need to do is we need to wrap the yarn around our hook four times. So one, two, three, four. You know, crazy, crazy. And what we want to do is we want to skip those five chains in between. Then in the next stitch, which is going to be the top of that proper stitch there, we're going to put our hook in there. Then bring the yarn through. And I have no idea what this stitch is called because <laughs> uh, there's too many loops around our hook. But you just follow the exact same principle. You just pull through two loops until you end up with just the one. So we're going to yarn over and pull through the first two. 
and then twist those stitches around so we can see them. And that leaves us with five loops, and then yarn over, pull through the next two, that leaves us with four loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two, leaves us with three loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two, leaves us with two. So the last two, pull through those two. We've got one loop left, so we know we've finished. So that creates our stitch. Then we need to chain nine, which is going to be our chains in between. It's chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want to wrap the yarn around our hook four times, so it's double the amount of what we did on the last round. So one, two, three, four. So you wrap it around four times, you end up with five loops. And to stop them slipping off, you just need to make sure you pull the tension on this yarn. You can also hold it with your finger while you find your stitch. So we skip the five chains in between, skip those. Then in the next stitch, which is the top of our treble, our proper stitch, I'm going to put our hook in there. Then bring the yarn through. You might want to just push down the end so you can see all your loops. And try and keep the loops a little bit loose. You don't want them too tight so you can work through them. Then yarn over. Follow the same principle of pulling through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two. Got two left. Pull through two and I've only got one loop so now I've finished and that finishes our stitch. So we do that again, we chain nine in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure we're facing the right direction. Wrap the yarn around our hook four times. One, two, three, four. Just hold it with your finger. You want to keep it a little bit loose, but not, you don't want it really loose, it slips off. But loose enough that they can slide up and down. So just hold them into place. And this is the trick, just holding the tension on that and that stops them, otherwise they start to fall off. So four times. Just holding it in my fingers there. Skip the five chains in between, then in the next stitch, the top of our previous stitch. Put our hook and bring the yarn through. Then make sure just around the ends so you can see all your loops. Then we just need to pull through two until we get to the ends. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. I've got one left so now I've finished. And just repeat that round until you get back to the beginning. So chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wrap the yarn around your hook four times. One, two, three, four. Just hold them with your finger and with the tension in your yarn. Skip the five chains in between. Then in the next stitch, which is the top of our previous stitch, bring the yarn through and then just pull through two loops until you get to just one. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Two. I've got one loop left, so I know I've finished. So repeat that round until you get back to the beginning, and I will show you what to do next. Okay. Okay. So you can see I've come to the last. I've just done my last stitch, and we've got the last set of five chains in between before we end up back at the beginning. So before you slip stitch, you don't want to slip stitch like that. You've got to remember to chain nine in between. So we're going to chain nine. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we chain nine, we skip those last five chains down here. Then what you want to do is we want to count the first five, which we counted as our stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. And in that fifth chain up, we want to put our hook and do a slip stitch. Which I don't seem to be doing very well. <laughs> there we go. Let's bring the yarn through and do 
a slip stitch to join and if I put this down you should be able to see what it's starting to look like. It's all tail end in the way. Like so. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next round. Okay, so for the last round what we're going to do is we're going to chain to begin. We're going to chain seven to begin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so those first seven chains are going to be counted as our stitch, those first seven. And then on top of that, we need to chain 13 stitches on top of that. Okay, so we need to chain another 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So in total, you've got the first seven plus thirteen. So my maths is awful. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's twenty stitches in total. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes, twenty stitches. Um, so chain twenty in total. But the first seven are going to count as our stitch, and then you're going to have thirteen chains in between. Now what we want to do is we want to wrap the yarn around our hook six times. I know, scary. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's almost like getting up to knitting and crochet now, isn't it? Working with all these loops. So wrap the yarn around your hook six times and you just want to keep the tension so they don't slip off and hold it with your finger. Then you want to skip the nine chains in between on our previous round. Then, in the top of our stitch, in the next stitch, we're going to put our hook, bring the yarn through. Then it's exactly the same principle as last time. We want to just pull through two until we get to the end. So, yarn over, pull through the first two, pull through the next 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 two. Pull through the next two, and we've got the still got two, so pull through those two, and now I've only got one loop, so I know I'm at the end, and that's our stitch. I hope you can do it a bit neater than I just did. Okay, so then we want to chain 13, because that's how many we're doing in between. So you want to chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. So you've got 13 stitches in between. Then we need to wrap the yarn around our hook six times, which is two more than the last time. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you end up with seven loops in total. And again, make sure they're loose enough to slide, but not loose enough to fall off. Just hold them with your tension here. And with your finger, skip the nine chains in between. Then, in the next chain, in the next stitch, rather, the top of our previous stitch, we're going to put our hook, bring the yarn through, and then making sure they're all stitches facing all the right way so you can see them. We need to pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Pull through two. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, until you end up with just the one loop. Okay, so you want to repeat that all the way around for all the other parts of the cobweb. No, don't come undone. <laughs> there we go. So we chain 13 in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, chain 13, wrap the yarn around your hook 6 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so you've got 7 loops in total, skip the 9 chains in between, then in the next stitch, the top of our previous stitch, bring the yarn through, then we just pull through 2, 
pull through two, 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 pull for the last two, until we've got one loop that completes our stitch. Okay, so just repeat that around till you get back to the beginning, and then I shall show you what to do next. So you need to chain 13 in between and wrap the yarn around your hook six times. Okay, so when you reach the beginning again, you should have the nine chains in between the last set, as it were. So you want to make sure you chain 13 to finish. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, then you want to skip those nine in between, then you want to count the first seven that were our, well, that we were counting as our stitch. So count the first seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and in that seventh one we want to do a slip stitch. like so to finish okay so there's our basic shape and like I say it needs a little bit of pinning down and uh, keeping its shape that's why I recommend pinning it down into the shape that you want like this and um, then gluing it whilst it's pinned into place and then letting that dry and then it should keep a nice sort of starchy finish. Alternatively you can of course have the ends and keep the tail ends long which I'll show you these end, bit these end bits now and keep these tail ends long and you can tie all those tail ends to parts of your room or sell tape them to the wall and then, then that should pull the shape out like a proper spider's web. So to do those little bits on the end you can do the first one straight from where you are now and just to do that we just chain five so one two, three, four, five. So we just literally chain five. And then I'm going to cut the yarn. And I'm cutting mine quite short, but like I said, you can keep those long so you can tie it onto things if you want to, but I'm just gonna pull that through and then that one's finished. And what I've been doing is actually trimming these down to be quite, quite short, like so. And to do the other ones, you're going to have to rejoin the yarn in the top of your next stitch. So in that stitch that's at the top, put a hook in there and then just rejoin the yarn by wrapping it over. And I just hold it with my finger whilst I pull it through. And then chain five. So one, two, three, four. Five. So then chain five, and then what I do is same again. Cut that, pull that through, and it creates, and then put it tight. Creates a little knot, and then I trim that down. And then what you're going to have to do is get your yarn needle, turn it over, and then with the other tail end where we rejoined it, we just want to pull the first. We'll pull it tight. So it gets the end nice and neat. And then just sew, just sew the tail end in so it's nice and tight, like it's all nice and knotted. I'm sure you could do a neat job if you've got more time. <laughs> then just trim the excess off, like so. And then just repeat that for all the other ends of your spider web so you just rejoin the yarn in chain five and then trim it down if you want to and then hide the tail end so I'm going to repeat that for well there's no point in repeating that for all the other five because you can see it on this one on this one here I just repeated that for all the other ends just chaining five and there is the completed spider web so and like I said again you can just pin it into place if you want to and glue to keep it shape or you can just tie it to a corner of your bedroom to make it look like a spider's web and in my next video I will show you how to make a little spider to go in the middle
Okay. <laughs> well, I hope you found that uh, tutorial useful. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you managed to follow along. And I hope it wasn't too fiddly doing the uh, endless wrapping around the yarn. Um, it's quite a good technique to uh, create larger stitches because you could te technically make them just as, as many times you could wrap the yarn around your hook. All you've got to do is pull through two until you get to the end and it creates really long stitches. So there we go. So I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!